Hello and welcome back to my channel. So this is video one of two showing my process using the Creality CR Ferret Scanner in order to generate a 3D printed socket. So let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and use normal, middle, and then I'm going to switch this to texture because that's going to use the camera to actually pick up any of the variances in my skin. So from them, we're going to go color and then new scan. Okay. So the first thing we do, I'm going to add, I'm going to add this little light just to give me a little bit of contrast. So I have this set at just a little bit of an angle, but if you notice, it's coming up perpendicular to the center of, to the center of the rotating axis. And if I hold my hand right here, you can see in the, in the red box, it shows that I'm in the center. Now with the fourth axis of the acrolock, I can use that to rotate the camera around my residual limb. Okay, so I'm gonna start out being palm down and about center of the box. So now we just start moving it around, making sure that we're staying in perfect and we wanna maintain in that square bounding box. Okay, so as you can see, we're starting to turn everything a green, we're looking for a dark green as opposed to that light green. Now each time we're going to go just a little bit further around. Now, as you see, I don't have that area behind my thumb. So now I rotate my hand a little bit and then that'll get that area. And now before you know it, we've gone all the way around my hand. So now you can see it's more fleshy colored. We need all of that to be green. So be sure not to move your hand any, because if you do, then you'll end up with artifacts. Want to get more into there. So now we're going to go for the end of my residual limb. Okay, so we lost our tracking. We need to go back down here. We'll come up and over and around. Okay, now I'm going to move my arm just a little bit farther forward. And I'll start scanning a different area. Now, of course, you can do this without the fourth axis, but for me doing it, you know, single-handedly, I found that this works really good for capturing scans just by myself. So now I need just a little bit more of the top back of my hand right there. So I'll wait for it to finish to where it stops doing capture. And now I have the end of my hand. That's always kind of a tricky part because it's got, it's got such a skinny profile that it's kind of hard to get all the data that you need in that area. Okay, so as you can see, we're pretty, we're pretty dark green through the entire area. Make sure that I get, make sure that I'm in the bounding box. We'll get back to the underside and then we'll get a little bit more of the forearm. And I think that'll be about it. Okay, so we're here. We'll get a little more of the forearm. Really for this part, as long as we're beyond the wrist, we should be good. Now I'm gonna be at a little bit of a diagonal and then that'll help me go from areas that the scanner knows where I'm at to brand new areas. If I was really having an issue with this, I could do dots on my forearm with a Sharpie. Okay, so I'm back in the center. I want just a little bit more of my forearm. Okay, so right now we're at, we're at 1,045 
1050 frames and 42,000 43,000 points. So I think that's pretty good. So now we'll go over to complete. We'll complete the scan. Yes. And then I'm going to use the one button processing using the default parameters. And there we are. Now the software goes to the optimization process where it stitches all of the frames into hopefully a watertight mesh. And there we have it, a watertight mesh. Next thing I'm going to do is export this mesh as an OBJ and move it over to my other computer. And that about does it for generating the mesh in my residual limb using the Creality CR Ferret Scanner. In the next video, I'll show you how to use Mesh Mixer to edit our newly created file into an STL that we can export directly to our 3D printer in order to create a socket just like this. Please remember to like, subscribe, share my videos, and if you have time, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching.